So I just got done recording a bunch of footage for another channel that I wanted to start and I messed up the audio and it had no audio. So it was all just lost footage and it kind of sucked because I've been kind of struggling lately with this channel and if you've watched the last few videos, you'll see that I put a lot of effort into those videos because I want this channel to grow and I haven't been having as much fun as I wanted to when I started YouTube with this channel and I feel a little limited by the things that I can talk about because you know, this channel is about learning how to code. And if I talk about anything that's not really related to learning how to code, the videos don't tend to do as well. And then I start worrying about the numbers and then I get focused on the channel dying out and not having as many views. And I wanna grow and I wanna be a successful YouTuber. And I feel like I'm kind of tied into this niche. So I recorded all this footage to start a new channel that was gonna kind of be my personal channel that I would just talk about whatever I wanted to. And I thought that maybe it was something that would be a good idea that way I get it out of my system to talk about whatever random topics I want to talk about and not affect this channel and then focus on making more quality videos for this channel and let it grow organically and not go crazy trying to pump out a bunch of low quality random videos, but actually maybe lower it down to one video a week and focus on, you know, producing good B-roll and, and researching topics and just just making good content and then all that footage got lost and now I'm making this video because I wanted to just share that with you guys um, and just know that you're gonna make mistakes and if it's learning how to code or if it's anything else in life and I don't want this to be a learning how to code video but I guess you can use it as an analogy for learning how to code you know me not plugging in my mic and making a huge mistake like that and wasting like an hour and a half of me just talking to the camera and not realizing it and not testing my audio and just making such a huge mistake that set me back right now shows that you know I'm still learning how to do this stuff and if you're learning something new and you make mistakes it's it's okay it's part of the process but what I really want to talk about in this video and this is gonna be a long one. I'm just gonna just let it go as long as I please because I talked and talked and talked for an hour and a half and I'm about to lose my voice and I just wanna get out a lot of like the stuff that I was trying to say in those videos that didn't have to do with coding and just had to do with me and my life and everything where I'm at and how things are going for me. And it's weird because I'm in a position right now in my life where everything's going great. You know, I'm 36 years old. I got two great kids. I got an awesome wife. We just sold our house. It's in the process of closing. We're going to make some money on that. I have some decent investments. I have zero debt. I have like everything I could ask for. I just have reduced my cost of living by a lot by selling our house and moving into the rental that we moved into. And now, now I have a huge chunk of change that I'm gonna use to kind of invest and spread around a little bit to try to grow some assets and, you know, do what everyone tells you to become wealthy or build wealth. I'm gonna try to do all those things. And this channel was originally gonna document a lot of that stuff. And while some of that stuff I do talk about on this channel, um, I, I noticed that it doesn't do as well as the coding stuff. So that's when I get kind of discouraged to talk about this stuff. And that's why I wanted to start a different channel. Really want to just make whatever videos I want to make. And changing the direction of this channel is something that's crossed my mind a couple times. But I just, I don't have the guts to do it because it's growing so well with the programming stuff. And I, and I know that I have a lot of subscribers here that have been with me since day one. I know that there's people who watch every one of my videos and I really appreciate those viewers. And I feel that at the end of the day, those are the people that I'm really making the videos for. I'm making videos for the people who want to know my story and who want to get advice from me and people who care about what I have to say and people who appreciate my opinion and me sharing my knowledge and my wisdom with all my experiences. And at the end of the day, I started YouTube because I wanted to share my story. And really the programming part of my life is such like a small part of everything that's going on that I keep having to make videos on that. And that's where I kind of felt lost in the sense that I wanted to have this be something that I can 
talk about whatever I wanted to talk about. And that's where the other channel was going to come in and, and whatnot. And I don't know, now I'm just kind of, I'm kind of bummed out because I recorded a bunch and honestly, none of it was really good, but it was just me talking like I'm talking now a lot like this video is going to be I kind of made it to where I don't want to do it now. And I guess that's why I'm doing this video and just kind of ranting about that. I started YouTube as a midlife crisis. And in January, before all of the pandemic stuff first happened, I started that blog. And this channel was to talk about me creating a blog and trying to make money on the internet. And then it kind of took a path of me talking about learning how to code because I figured that maybe I can get viewers on this channel and then I can make money from talking about how I learned how to code. And that would be like a win-win because then I can help people and share my story and make money and everybody be happy. And that's like the idea of YouTube and whatnot. And now I'm just kind of bored and I feel like I'm in this spot where I'm like in this midlife crisis where I want to work on not having to have a job in a few years and trying to make money different ways online and through real estate and through investments and through all that stuff. And I want to document that on this channel. And that's why I keep going back and forth between creating a new channel or talking about that on this channel. And that's why a lot of like the stuff that I have talked about, sometimes there's just random topics that you know, those videos that, that some of you watch that don't really have anything to do with learning how to code. And that's me kind of testing the water to see if people would watch it. And I, you know, I, I'm almost under the impression that it'd be better off on another channel. But at this point, I'm not really sure if I'm going to change the direction of this channel, if I'm going to talk about other stuff, or if I'm going to try to keep it learning how to code and grow it till it gets to a larger number to make me some money passively and you know help more people out there with trying to become a programmer. It's just, at the end of the day, if this starts feeling like a job, I'm gonna end up not liking it and I'm starting to feel like I'm burning out a little bit and I'm starting to feel like I'm not enjoying myself as much as I was when I first started making videos. And I think it's just because I'm talking about the same stuff over and over and every, video where I talk about learning how to code, I feel like I'm just saying the same thing I've said in so many videos and it's just getting old and repetitive. And I know that, that, you know, that's the idea of having a niche. And a lot of the times when you hear a lot of the same YouTubers, a lot of us do say the same things over and over in our videos because it's hard to say the same thing a hundred different times. And that's where I'm just at the point where I don't know if I want this to be more personal and I start opening up and talking about anything I want to talk about and maybe just, I don't know, stop caring about the views and just see what happens with this channel. And, and eventually if I decide to go back into learning how to code and if I finally decide to start making some tutorials, maybe I'll do that. But I feel like tutorials are saturated. There's so many people that are doing it. So many people that are better than me. I know they're subjective. I know that, that it's a preference thing. I know that people watch people that they enjoy to watch and it's based off of personalities and there's plenty of room for other people to create tutorials and to create courses. But I just don't know if it's what I want to do. I enjoy the creative aspect of YouTube. I enjoy making videos. I've been playing around with making B-roll and I really like that. And I'm going to try to incorporate it into the coding videos. And I thought that maybe I'll start uploading less onto this channel and create another channel where I'll talk about more of the things that I want to talk about. And that's kind of where I'm at. And I don't know, this is going to be a long, boring video. And the people who watch this video are really the people whose opinion matter the most to me because you would be the ones that would probably watch the videos that I would be releasing that aren't about learning how to code because the people that watch these videos where, you know, I only get 500 views on, those are like my true fans. And, um, I appreciate every one of you. I really do. I looked at my numbers a lot lately and I've been getting obsessed with my numbers and worrying about my growth and worrying about, uh, trying to, trying to grow this YouTube channel. It's become, it's become a bit of an obsession. I'm trying to find 
the reason why I started YouTube again, the idea that I had behind it, which was having fun making videos and talking about my life and talking about stuff that I can help people with and sharing my story. And I'm not trying to be a life coach and I'm not trying to be a guru, it, you know, but I hate that I come off as that. It's just, it's so cheesy and you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to share my story. I have no idea what direction to go right now. And I know that a lot of the people that watch my channel are kind of in that spot in their life where they have no direction um, and not really sure where to go. And they just found learning how to code to be a thing that might set them off on the right path to better their lives and make more money and, you know, get a job and, and, you know, improve themselves. And I feel that I love that I can help people with that, but I just can't talk about it all the time. I, I can't. It's, it's boring as hell to talk about code all the time. <laughs> I have a lot of fun when I'm learning how to code. I have a lot of fun when I'm building things that I really want to build and that I'm excited about, but I have not been having a lot of fun lately with work and I haven't been having a lot of fun lately talking about it on YouTube and a lot of my videos have felt really forced and I was in a position where I didn't even have my my home studio and I didn't have a place to record and I wasn't comfortable and now that I am comfortable I want to start making videos again but then I'm in this spot where I'm just not sure what kind of videos to make and I really don't know if I want to lose the traction that I've gained on this channel and hopefully try to grow it to 50,000 by the end of this year and try to, you know, really, really hit it hard and, and pursue this seriously and start making better videos and try to really focus on this niche or if I want to just broaden my niche and hopefully not lose too many subscribers and viewers in the process and then eventually gain traction in a new direction that's more in line with the stuff that I personally want to do. I don't know. I don't know. But for right now, I'm just going to just keep making videos and see what happens. I, that's, that's all I can do. So I'm done talking now. I hope the audio is good on this take because if it's not, this might be the last video I ever try to make. <laughs> all right. Um, with all that said, thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any suggestions on what I should do in the comments. And I know that anyone that does watch this video, you are going to be the ones that probably watch the videos that I'm talking about or thinking about making and your opinion matters to me and it might really help me with knowing what I should do moving forward. And if you stuck around this long, thanks again. And I'll see you next time.